Hello, I'm Z, and welcome to Stargazing 64. Uh, an indie or question mark game, I'm not sure, by Workus that I thought looked really interesting, and it has an N64 kind of uh, style to it. So let's start the game. All right, there we go. We're in, and sure has an N64 feel to it. Oh, wow, it really does. Can't run. I can't jump. Only move. Alright. I'm guessing we go to the temple over there. Is that a telescope? Take telescope. When it's dark enough, you can see the stars. Marvel at them by holding the mouse button. Oh yeah, it's not dark enough. Oh, it's getting dark. Slowly. Yeah, yeah, it is. I don't know how long this game is. Yeah, it got really dark. Yeah, I can see all the stars. Any, like, particularly interesting ones? Oh, there. Name, UI Scuti. Distance 9,500 light years away. One of the largest known stars. Name, Beetle Geese. Distance 548 light years away. That's quite a lot closer. Second brightest in the constellation of Orion. Name Weizen, distance 1600 light years away. Anchor point by which other stars are classified. Oh, it's interesting info. Name Antares, distance 550 light years away. Binary star that appears as a single star. Where's there a red dot? Name Distance. 900 light years away, but it's getting closer. Majora's Mask? What is that? Yeah, it is approaching really fast. It's definitely some Majora's Mask feel. It's very close. Oh, it's, it's, yeah, it's very Majora's Mask. Big eye. Crashing down. Where are you crashing down? Oh, Jesus. That actually scared me. That was a good scare. Alright, well, the game just closed. And, well, I'd like to talk about that. It was short. It was a lot more, sh a lot shorter than, than I thought it would be. It was very good. I liked it a lot. Especially that last scare. It actually got me. I thought, uh, I thought it wasn't going to pull off a really uh, interesting scare, but it did. I say I don't like jump scares, but that was actually uh, quick and right at the point. Uh, and that was, for, that was like those kind of indie jump scares where it's just like that one last bit of the, of the game. Just like, woo. A quick jump scare. It's like a four minute game like this was. It's a good one. I like it. Well, of course, atmosphere would be better. And I feel like this lacks a bit of atmosphere. But I do like it. It's that's that sense of of like otherworldly dread. You know? I would say you could do a bit more to nail that exact feeling. But uh, it's definitely close. I feel like Majora's Mask is a big inspiration for this game. And I think that was um, very scary for a lot of people when they played it when they were little. Because, um, yeah, I mean, Majora's Mask, it, it's just scary that a giant smiling moon is uh, coming to crash down. And uh, kind of have to, like, rewind time to, you know, try and stop it. But, um, yeah, I really enjoyed this. That was well made.
I don't know if it was made in the game jam. It feels like kind of a game jamish kind of game. Uh, but anyways, if you also enjoyed this episode, leave it a like. Have an awesome rest of the day, and I'll see you tomorrow.